Your what? Cool. When God made Donald Trump, he said, fuck it, we all gotta die sometime. So he took a shit into a cup, stapled a used car salesman tie and tiny toupee onto that Trump turd, shoved some Mr. Potato Head hands, not big enough for big boy work, into the soft sides of that piece of shit and said, go be president now. Donald Trump was God's suicide letter. We have a president who is the human equivalent of saying, Get off my lawn! An administration who is only competent in being racist and assaulting women. They are a tyrant team of cartoon villains turning Trump Tower into Cobra Island. Who the fuck thinks Meryl Streep is overrated? No wonder, no wonder you don't think climate change is real. You don't even watch movies right. Donald Trump is the most racist president we've ever had. Slaves. I'm sure Trump would too, but judging by his finances, he could only rent. We are a nation built on white supremacy, built on patriarchy, and that shit still pumps through our veins the way Chris Christie dry humps a pillow with a picture of the White House on it. Shit! Racism is the only thing this country makes anymore ever since the factory shut down. And hey, all lives matter, people. Number one, shut the fuck up. Number two, if you really felt that all lives mattered, you wouldn't have voted for the game show host who was going to star in the war that destroys all lives matter factly. Why? Because you think he's going to give you a job? Motherfucker made a living off of saying you're fired, you assholes. You got played. You got played because you're afraid of Mexicans. The only people I see going after your jobs is everyone from my high school I tried to avoid that won't stop sending me goddamn LinkedIn invitations. Donald Trump's trickle-down economic policy is going to be pissing off the top, of Trump, the top of Trump Tower like a Morton Joe handed out water the way he likes to shower in Russia. And hey, man, getting pissed on is literally the less dirty thing you've ever done. So own that shit. We can't even pray that he will be assassinated because of his creationist vice president who wants to shock the gay out of people. Like gayness is a ghost that comes to life and makes pottery like Patrick Swayze. Mike Pence believes that AIDS is punishment from God for having a more interesting sex life than him. And if you're wondering what Mike Pence's sex life is, I assume that it's shamefully punching himself in the dick while shouting out Hail Marys and coming to the thought of taking health care from poor people. We will not stop fighting until you are all out of office. Do you think this shit stops with Chelsea Manning and Edward Snowden? This country hates you as much as your family does under their breath, and we will take you down. The only thing, the only wall that we will ever build is between you and Washington, between you and America, between you and your Twitter account, between you and your daughter's ass. You are a scared old man, giving the words overcompensation new meaning. You are Kylo Ren without the cool dad. You are Mr. Burns without Smithers. You are Donald J. fucking Trump. And the closest thing you have to friends are your two little robot sons who look like the profile picture of everyone who's ever murdered a sorority girl. So listen, you can sit in your tower with your Ku Klux Yes Men and your statues made of gold and you can pretend to be powerful, but the Klan are scared boys who wear bed sheets and statues don't fight back, but we will. We will fight for the Muslims who you are scared of. We will fight for the Mexicans who you are scared of. We will fight for the women who you are scared of, for the trans kids that you are scared of, the people with heart and empathy and kindness that run through them the way you would run away from a street fight right now. You shouldn't have started this, man. You will only make us stronger. Give us something to unite against so we can Power Ranger the shit out of you and make America great. Thank you very much.